We're live. Hello there. Welcome. Greetings to all of you. I imagine there'll be a lot more people coming, but uh, we've got a few at the moment, enough to make a start anyway. So I'll bring um, my earworm in just for a, just for a change. I thought I'd ask Keith. Keith. Oh, no, I've just pressed the wrong button. Let's try that one. There we go. I, I, just for a change, I thought I'd ask Keith to do it. So <laughs> here he is. Right, that's it. I just killed uh, killed YouTube, so I can listen to one voice. <laughs> uh, it's quite. Uh, I'm going to go over and scary. do it on mine, but yep. Yeah, so it's quite scary. Hi all, welcome to a, a currently a dry West West Sussex. It's been peeing down here most of the day. Yeah, I've been down at the museum, and we've had much better weather just five miles down the road from where I live. But mm. um, it's in the downs, and I think that affects the weather. So yep. uh, anyway, without any more ado, I'll put uh, Keith back where he belongs. I mean, dump back me, in the background. Me back in the cage. <laughs> We're going to be making, as you will have seen from the uh, the picture, a candle holder, which is going to look something like that, except it won't be in laburnum. It's going to be, in fact... I'm pretty sure it's in you. Keith and I both agreed that it's you. So take the candle out because that's irrelevant to what we're doing. The only thing I would say at this stage is that if you're going to sell these, it must have a, a metal or glass cup to sit in, inside the top. This hasn't got it. I haven't got any that size, but I'm sure they will be available um, or I'll have to make one. But the, the wood I'm using is actually, uh, I can show you it on the lathe. It's that that piece there which has got some most fabulous, well, that's a good picture of it. That's a fabulous grain in it. So and we're pretty sure it's you, and it's a you burr. So I think it should be very interesting to turn. Time will tell. So without further ado, I'll get on with rounding it off and get to Keith to tell us who's in. All right. Good evening, one and all. Um, there's 22 of you watching. Let me just... Uh, See how many on the participants list. Well, there's only only six on there, so that's a waste of time. I'll <laughs> see if I can read down the list because it'll be easier and quicker. So, um, top of my list is Peter Cochran, followed by myself and then Andy. But I got a feeling that uh, was it Colin that was in first. I Colin was, yeah, but he, that's yeah. been there for, for a couple of hours, so Is it? Okay. He, he may not actually be in now. But right. Oh, yes, he's been back in, so yeah, that's all right. right. Yep. Um, Jason Leveron from the other side of the pond. Barry Chitty. Allison's in, so you've just got to behave yourself, mate. Yeah, as ever. Well, as much as you always can. The, the Linikins is in. Hi, kiddo. Um, Andrew at Wivey Woodshed, Perry from TJ, David J. Heath, the Guildford Wood Butcher, um, Douglas Mungham, yeah, Colin's in, Wood Wizardry by Colin, um, Robert Dolman, Woodworm Hall, I think that's it. If I've missed anyone, wood turning by Barry's just dropped in. If I've missed anyone, I do apologise. Um, stick your name back in. I will pick it up. And again, as always, if you have a question for Andy or myself to answer, um, perhaps a, a couple of question marks in front of it just to highlight it. And we can probably then do our best between us to answer it or throw it open to the chat to answer. So, there is no invade from Rich tonight. Um, he did put it out on Facebook earlier on. I've no idea why. I just caught it that he's not doing an invade tonight. No, so, maybe the person he was going to invade can't make it or something. Could yeah, anything, I don't know. It? Yeah, but anyway, so we don't need to make Andy sweat tonight. We can uh, we can drag this out a bit longer. Um, it's not going to be a quick five minute sand and turn. I do know because I've turned some of this you, and it's absolutely yeah, gore gorgeous pippy you. I'm just experimenting with a new, a brand new gouge. Uh, yep, yeah, gouge. 
spindle turning gear. Roughing, yeah. roughing gear. That's, that's the word I was looking for. It's a big one, and it's, a, I think, oh, the second time I've used it, so mm -hmm. I'm still getting the feel of it. So we've got um, Rex B has joined us. And Terry's asked um, the blank size. It was about four inch square, if I can remember right. Sorry, the the size the, of the blank before you blank, started four, four it. Four inch, four inch square, and he's guessing about six inches long. One hundred and thirty mil, so a bit under six inches, but just off. Yeah. So yeah. that answers that question. Um, don't think I missed any. Jumps. Right. Back to the noisy bit. Yeah, we'll soon soon get it round, then it'll be quieter. Mm. God, look at that. It's interesting in there. Yeah, no dribbling over it. Oh. Rex B is how do you find such a big piece of you can't find it here in the USA? Um, I bought the tree rex and then had it planked into two, three, and four inch boards. And I've sat on it for oh, 12, 14 years. I can say that the tree was around 600 years old when it was cut. It was dying from the top back down, hence, there's very little um, sapwood on it. And for a but bit it, more information, Percy Bish Shelley, the um, playwright, come poet, come author, whatever you want to call himself, was purported to have sat underneath of it and composed some of his scribblings. But I wasn't around in the time, so I can't it was guarantee a, that. It was a genuinely good-sized tree, wasn't it? I just want to show something I've got here, which is a bit of you which is what a lot of yew trees are, and they're made up of a number of different trunks. If I can lift it, I'll stick it up here, turn the camera around. <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing something with this when it's dried out a bit. Right, let's try that camera. Paul okay. Hyten and Dave Dagman have joined us. This is rather typical of how you, you can grow. That's why this piece that I'm turning today is so nice because you've got a tree branch, a tree trunk there, 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 another one there, one there. I'm off the edge of the <laughs> of the camera field, but it, it's 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 made up of a whole series of of trunks that have all grown together. So, just to let you know what little treats we might have in store one day. I should be doing something with that. But uh, anyway, I'll go and get it back out of the way. It's heavy. Okay, from my end. <laughs> so, um, the tree that this was cut from was um, about three foot by two foot six diameter ish. So, it was sort of oval. And it was just a mass of hair on the outside, little branches, which is what all the pippy lumps you can see in that, and they emanate more or less from the centre. So oh, each right, of those yeah. little brown pimples on there was a small branch forming. Yep. We've got a couple of bits. There's a hole there and a couple of, of, of branches coming out there, which have got gaps around them. But in fact, that's going to be... yeah. That's going to be in the the waist of the of the thing. This will be the top, and that'll be the bottom. So those should more or less more or less disappear. I should think. We're nearly round. A little bit more. <sighs> Trevor P, the hobby turner, he's joined us as well now. Uh, welcome, one and all. Um, According to YouTube, there's 27 of you watching. A very respectable number. Mm. Thank you for coming along. Hopefully it'll all be worthwhile. Right, that should be round now, I think. 
No, not quite. Nearly. Very nearly. We'll do a bit of left-handed turning. No, come on. All right, perhaps we won't. <laughs> it's getting used to this gouge. <laughs> it's a big beast. Much easier to use, though. When you get used to it, mm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting it coming into the sides. I think I might just angle the, the the wings back a little bit. They're a bit bit upright at the moment. At the moment, they're very square. That's how yeah. it came. I just thought I'd try it like that before I change it. But I'm I'm already thinking I'm going to take those back a bit. Mm. Anyway, Tony that's... Smith joined us, or joined you, and Gerard, the French Turner, has joined you. Hello, Gerard. Hello, Tony. And joined us, Keith. Quite definitely us. They've come to see you, but um, I'm yeah, part of the uh, entertainment, I believe. I can't do the talking as well. well. You can, but it don't make sense. Well, no, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I speak Sussex, I do. Yeah, exactly. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very proud of that. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, that's, um, that's looking lovely. A break from turning for a second, guys. Um, I'll let uh, Woodworm Paul's putting a question to me. What is the latest on Scott? Um, I had a message from him this morning, and it reads, feeling much more me. Swelling is starting to reduce with the IV antibiotics and circulation now running to toes. No more talk of going to St George's at the minute. But still a long road ahead. We'll wait and see what the, the, today's bloods bring. So that is what was written to me this morning, and I've not heard from Scott since. So you all know as much as I do now, guys. I did pass right. on everyone's best wishes to him when I uh, spoke to him the other day. That's but, quite good uh, news about the fact that they're. Uh, He's not quite getting quite so worried about his leg or yeah. George or whatever it was. So that's that is good yeah. news. Right, that's that. So just going to cut. What is the wood and what is the delight you are turning tonight, Andy from Gerard? Right, Gerard, I'll show you the, the delight I'm turning, which is if I go back to that camera, it's 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 that which is designed to take one of those. In fact, I'm going to slim down the, the waistline a bit and make the base a little bit more more curved down to it. Um, more angular. But that's basic. Yeah, but that's that's the one. A sharp a sharper intersection there. Um, so that's what we're turning, and we're turning it from a piece of U, which if I just show you the remnant, that side's best. It's got lots and lots of lovely markings on it. It doesn't show very well on that camera, but uh, oh, it's picking up. Okay, is it? Oh, yeah. good, good. And yeah. that, uh, that's another another section of it. So it's, it's a lovely piece of timber, and we're beginning to see it on the lathe now. If I go back over to that, we can see we're getting quite an interesting bit of wood showing here. Thanks, guys, for your good wishes for Scott. I will pass them on again tomorrow when i uh, message him or tonight when i message him there is a vague possibility that uh, he might pop in but the reception in hospital is pretty crap to say the the least so i doubt yeah. whether he'll get much of a reception at all to be able to um, actually con um, partake in it Come on, Colin yeah. has asked, can you get metal inserts that size? I'm not I, sure, I, Colin. I don't know. I, I know I can get glass ones. I, I'm not sure about metal. I may have to make something. But you can get the dished, um, the, the dished ones with a spike in the middle, which are probably best for these candles anyway. Um, and you should hopefully be able to get something this diameter. If not, I should have to, I, I'm not planning to sell it, I hasten to say. It's going to join the, uh, table, the platter on the table, is it? That's right, yeah. 
<laughs> but it's, only, it's only if you sell stuff you actually have a legal problem with it. Gerard, yes, it is Burr you. Very pithy. And by pithy, we mean the little black spots, which are the um, branches. The formation of the, the branches. But they're very small and it's like a bad haircut day. Yeah, the pretty was bits. a big tree. Yeah, the pretty bits. That's what makes it uh, exceptionally valuable and hard to come by. Oh, what am I doing? It's not one of them, is it? So I was putting a dovetail on there, but it doesn't need it. It just needs a little groove. <laughs> I was using sea jaws for a minute. Right, I shall turn that round. Get rid of that. I might well be selling a few bits, Colin, later on. Um, I've still got some two inch planks, I haven't got any four inch stuff. Um, that's all been commandeered or got names on it, but I've yeah. got some two inch that is not as pippy, but there are some pips to it. But I've got to get it out of the store and uh, blank it up at the moment. Because yeah, this was a piece you gave me a long time ago, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. It was well, buried least, deep least, in my at least in three my months heap of, ago. Well, probably more than that, but it's, uh, it was buried deep in my store. Around the corner, I don't go in there. I don't haven't been that deep for quite a while. Right, yeah. so Gerard's just put a bit of news up from talks between the government and Vintners Federation. Apparently, he can open inside dining, but with only thirty people max at a time. And oh, right, we yeah. can hold over two hundred. It will be fun. Well, it's a start, Gerard. It's a start. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, it's going to be slow. Um, what we don't want is another uh, another lockdown. I suppose I should get the outside done roughly. Terry, First. if you can remind me, um, drop me a message. Um, by the time this is finished, I will have forgotten all about that. And Jay's cabin has just joined you as well. Huh? And Alison's asked, Gerard, did he sort last night's problem out? Was that a microwave issue? I it was believe. an oven or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Or an oven, yeah. Mm. Back to the old faithful. Don't want to take too much off the outside before I do the inside, but no, Dave's been sweating today. He's made himself a new woodshed. Temperature right. is plus thirty. Was that uh, plus thirty C or plus thirty F? I don't know where you are, Jay. 
Gerard just saying he's had his second game today, so he's fully fully stabbed. But you've got to wait two weeks before it takes full effect, Gerard. So hopefully you don't get uh, any sickness tomorrow. Arm ache, muscles ache, feel like poo for 24 hours, and then it passes. Yeah, but if you're lucky like I was, you don't get any problem. No, I, I didn't on the second one. The first one was uh, every muscle in me ate. Oh, really? No, I didn't have a problem with either of them, I'm pleased to say. Well, that's got it turning in slightly at the top, which is what I wanted. Going to go a little deeper than that, but I think I'll get the inside done first. I think that's advisable. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to get some idea of where I was going with it. Yeah, and uh, I think that's that's not bad. I mean, a bit of tidying up to do, but that's not too bad. I think I'm going to run a drill bit through there as well. Take some of it out. Might make life a little bit easier. Still on this piece. <laughs> yes. Okay, now then, what size do I want? Dum -de -dum -dum. So I don't want to be any bigger than that. That's this is about 40 mil, I think, will do it. Be fine. Ah, oh, Scott's in. Oh, hello, Scott. Too, too late, mate. We've been talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a report. On uh, what you sent me this morning, but it is nice to see you, mate. If you drop out all of a sudden, um, they have been warned. But feel free to uh, put any comments in your like, obviously. Of course. Yeah, I'm going to go in with a 35 mil bit. That'll give me plenty of room to do things in the middle without coming through the side. Uh, turn the speed down. Turn the drill on. The lathe on. Lock it in place and turn the handle. Don't right. you just like it, guys, when you talk to yourself so you know what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> it comes with age. 50 mil will do it nicely. Or to you oldies, two inches. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was a woodwork teacher. I have to work metric. You don't have to. I had to then. Yeah, I was a plumber, and we we work with metric now, but I still use Imperial. <laughs> yes, I'd measure something as sort of 45 mil, and then I will increase that to two inches. You know, <laughs> Got to mix them up a bit. Ten twenty. That's 30 mil. That's 40 so, mil. So as we're talking about um, Scott, I'm covering for him on Thursday evening next week. And Andy's doing next Tuesday. So that... Uh, We've got it covered. So that's Tuesday lunchtime with Andy and Thursday evening with myself. Yeah, I'll put something up over the weekend to let you know what I'm doing. But... Yeah, I will have to as well, but uh, it's easier to tell people as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's no secrets on here. Well, there shouldn't be. What am I going to use? I'm going to use my Simon Hope. If I can find it, there it is. My little one. Yeah, so that needs to be fairly well away. Something like that. So change camera. Yep, so I will indeed. See what you're doing. That one? Yeah, or, we'll try that one. And have you covered or, your keyboard? No, they don't that, that one. one. 
Yes, I have covered scary. Gamer. So is oh, that yeah. one or that one? Not much difference, really, is there? No, no. Whichever's easiest for you to work with, but you probably want to swing the head a little bit yeah. to get in there, won't you? Possibly. I'll see how I go because that's quite a nice view from there. Let's see how we Don't go. Don't worry that's about us. Yeah. Is oh, that no, chuck locked on or not? Uh, do, 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 do. I can't remember. I'd have to check that. Okay, so you could turn in reverse if it was. Oh, nice noise. Yeah. Oh, screaming in my ear. Yeah. Still felt all the noise a bit. It's not doing a lot for mine, actually. No. It might be coming up to time to, to put a new blade or turn the blade around a bit. No, it, it's noisy wood. <laughs> Yes, that yes. experience. <laughs> I'm trying varying the angle a bit as well, which is giving a fairly harsh cut at the moment, but it's stopping the noise. Got to give yourself a little bit more room there. That's better. No, Douglas, he's not home. He wants to get home, but they won't let him out yet. Can answer that quicker than probably Scott can type it. Getting the right sort of shape. A little bit thick at the moment, but it's not bad. I've got to dig out the bottom a bit more. It's uh, got quite a quite a, a mark in the bottom there, as you can see, where the drill bit went in. A ring around the outside. But we can get rid of that. Yeah, I've seen it, Scott. It's getting better. I read, I read it after I made the comment. It's, mine's jumping like it's going out of fashion. So Scott is home. He's on the settee. All right, he's good. Gonna, he's going to live for a few days. Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah.
at the moment. My internet seems to want to jump for some unknown reason. Gain a complete row of uh, messages on it, and then the top one disappears, and I have to go back and check it. So hopefully I'm not missing anything too much. But I did miss that one, Scott. Sorry, mate. Oh. That would be quiet. Oh, let's see how that's looking. All right, there's one here for you, mate, from Gerard. Just as an observation, would you try and have a flatter bottom to hold the thick candle better? Uh, in theory, yes, although I'm thinking in terms of having a dished um, metal piece for it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it, it, there, are, there are all sorts of possibilities. Um, and I did have in mind that I could actually put something in there if I wanted to, in the in in the meantime, it's got a nice goblet shape. So yeah, it's yes, you're right. I could do. So it's a two in one, basically. You're doing then. You're doing. Yeah, a, it is really goth, yeah. gothic style goblet that could hold a candle. Because the other one that the candle has been living in for the last couple of years. I don't think it's got a flat base to it from memory. No, it hasn't. It's a little bit flatter than this one, but no, you can't see it. With the lathe going around, I'm not going to get too close to the camera. Uh, not on that one anyway. We're on the tail stock. No, you're, on the, you're on this one here. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, it's, it, it's, it's, it's flat-ish, but it's not completely flat. But the, the candle sits around the outside quite nicely. So, uh, so yeah, it it's, uh, can be argued all ways around. And I haven't got enough there to take it any wider at the bottom anyway. So, so that really settles that. But there is an argument for not having the candle too far into the thing, because then when it when it burns down, you lose it. It goes inside. So it's not a bad thing to actually lift it up a bit. That's better. That's much, much nicer. I think I shall sand that. You're still looking in the end, all right? Good. So. No, we'll leave it with a bit of light on it. I, I can see it better. Uh, we'll, we'll start with 120 and see how we go. What about a dust extractor? Yep, I'll get that on. Mm -hmm. But well reminded. <laughs> I always need reminding. I think we all do, don't we? Autopilot kicks out of gear at times. think I'm going to check that that chuck is tight because I'm going to have to turn have to go in reverse I think so let's mark where that is where's number one there it is it 
Tommy's workshops joined us. Hello, Tommy. Welcome, Welcome Tommy. It's a pain on this because you have to take the work out of the chuck to tighten the thing onto the spindle. And I think it's that one, the three mil. Yes, it is. Oh, I have done it. How very tiresome. <laughs> yep, I had already tightened it. Worth checking. Oh, absolutely. Yes, a chuck, a chuck coming at you is not fun. It's a bit heavy. Yes, it does wake you up, apparently. <laughs> right, so number one's there. That's number one there. And there's my two marks. Right. I'm trying to get into the habit of tightening those almost every time I put this on the on the, the lathe. Mm. I think but it's I well worth it. I haven't quite got there yet. No. You've got 33 watching you at the moment. That's good. That's good. Right. So, yes, we're going to take a bit more out of that. I'm going to go back to the 80. A couple of slightly rough bits in there. I think they'll, they'll require that. I'll be taking more off the outside because the, the edge is very rough. But I'll worry about that in a minute. Did you turn the extractor on? No, I didn't. I did first time. I turned it off again. One day I'm going to have a switch in front of me to do that. That's better. It's disappearing down the pipe now. Yes, yeah. It does make a difference when you turn it on, yeah, doesn't that's, it? That's it's like, like <laughs> it's like magic really, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so <sighs> Yeah, it's a bit of a hole in there, there's not much I can do about that. That's that's was there. A bit of an inclusion of some natural sort. Natural feature. Natural feature. Absolutely, absolutely. Which with this wood I'm actually quite pleased about. I don't mind that at all. A little bit backwards. Lewis is in. Hi, Lewis. Hello, Lewis. I have the odd once, Paul, but with my lathe, it, uh, it ramps up from two up to speed in five seconds. So it takes, um, it's not straight on at full lick. So it just dropped out. So that was fortunate, but not all lathes do that. <coughs> Excuse me. It's best to get into the habit of uh, not leaving it in there at all. And it's bad practice when you walk away from the lathe and leave the chuck key in there anyway. Well, the chuck key, yeah. Uh, yes, it's something I started doing just recently, and I've stopped myself again. Never used to. Robbo told me off one time, didn't he? Yeah, I believe he did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, never, it's not something I... Your watch is four, four hours fast, Andy. Is it? Ten past eight will do for me. Otherwise, yes. it's my bed. My bedtime. Yeah, beauty sleep. <laughs> With the watch as clear as this, it does tell you the time, doesn't it? Quite frequently when I'm using it. Mm. So working down through the grades. Lucy's come in to check you out. So does that mean Robin's in? He should be there, yep. Hello, Lucy. I've still got that vase for you. It's wrapped up, ready to go. I'll get it to you one day. Jay, if... Uh 
if you drop me a message, I can uh, email you over the names of, the, of all the woods, the English woods, with um, in four different languages, I think. I worked it out and copied it for all the museum that we, t we uh, teach at would turn out so i've got uh, i've got it on the computer here so just drop me a message and i'll uh, ping it over to you then you can learn it from whichever language you like right that's uh, up to 400 which apart from that little bit missing there which we can't do anything about is looking rather lovely i think i don't know i was gonna i was gonna yorkshire grit it but it's got so many little holes. The centre of each of these pips, yeah, is going to hold the wax. And you've only got a small that. compressor, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I don't think I'll, I'll try it, but I don't think it'll blow it out. I'll get some of it up. Well, it's cleared that big one. That's a rather funny sort of message from lucy but i think i know what it means you and robin need to get together soon all right <laughs> yeah so I, I i know robin as well <laughs> he's suffering withdrawal symptoms is he <laughs> <laughs> yes we do need to we haven't we haven't actually got together for a while let's go out for a meal or something it's one of our usual ways of celebrating uh-huh oh i know something's gone Oh, it's me, Ruler. Robert's right. joined us from Hodgepodge. Hello, Robert. Good evening. Hope, uh, you, hope you've got that mad beaver in there as well, watching. Because <laughs> this is definitely beaver wood. Acrylic, acrylic, cellulose sanding sealer. I should Lucy's give it a quick dollop of... Sorry, go on. Say Lucy's come back and saying more like motivational or motivation all oh, right okay i get your message yeah. loud and clear <laughs> he bought Quite himself a new, new toy and uh, not using it is he <laughs> yeah because he loves it. he's got the same lathe as this now and he and he loves it but you do need to discipline yourself to actually using it don't you you know i think you don't want to make it dirty well you don't want to get paint <laughs> all over it do you no no <laughs> That looks absolutely lovely. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. Yes. Yeah. That looks absolutely lovely in there. Oh, you it makes it all worthwhile. Shine on that. Yeah. And that's just for sanding. Put a candle, you won't. Yeah, you won't want to put a ca uh, candle in there then. <laughs> oh, no, that's true. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> I haven't got another one of those candles anyway. So, uh, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that as it is for now. Make a decision on what I'm gonna finish with it late. It with later. When get on with the outside now. Colin, um, Andy's got his dust extractor next door and he's got it all solid piped in his workshop. Yep, there it is. Oh, yeah, that's the that's the snorkel bit of it, but it, he's got it piped in four inch and it picks up. It goes up uh, across the ceiling and door. Yeah. Into sander, the timber store. It's sander um, all into next door, but don't ask me what the, what the uh, sucker is. It's an Axminster. Um, Exminster, um, Craft AC 82E, but it's got the, um, the, the other, uh, instead of just having a bag on top, it's got the, the extra microfine filter. Okay. Top, yeah. Which you, you shake yeah. around it. It traps all the small dust better. So that was quite a good investment that I think when I bought that, but it certainly works. See stuff disappearing down the hole. <laughs> yes, that's so I knew you didn't have it turned on. <laughs> yeah, but hey, gotta keep yeah. people guessing a bit. Right, let's just mark the depth of this so I don't get it wrong. It's that much. Oh, it's right down to there. Rob okay. CPs have joined us. Christine and Michael have joined us. Hello, both. Christine Ball, three. Christine and Michael yeah. and Rob. Christine, it was nice more. to see a picture of Mikey out on his buggy today, catching a bit of fresh air. Just there. So I've got to go a bit further down than that. 
So that will be the neck. About there. It's on a different camera. So that we might yeah. be able to guess what you're doing. Well, you want to watch as well. Wow. <laughs> no, you don't want to, but you've got to, really. <laughs> I was just trying to work out where the bottom of the, uh, the bowl part is so I didn't go too far with this bit that's which is where it's going to join um, and let me just check myself out on that again 47 mil I think it was yes 47 mil 48 so which is there so it wants to go a bit below that so that's that's pretty good Want to get that in a little bit more than that other one was, don't I? <laughs> Sorry, let's turn that off. So that one is about that. I want this one to be a little bit narrower on that neck there, on the waistline, whatever. I think it's too too clumsy. That I'm going to try and get a definite too, line there as well. Too heavy, yeah. Too heavy. So I think if we take that down to something like well, I would have said that. at least half of the diameter that you started with to make it to sort of tie up if you've got a four inch top yeah, you want to yeah. do it. Well, that's 90 now so the, the where it bulges out it's probably nearer 100 so about 50 and I've got this set to 46 so not yeah, far wrong. pretty close yeah yeah, yeah. So in fact, we'll, I think we'll stick with about yeah 40, 48, something like that. That'll be somewhere near near right, and that's nearly there. I should I put a, a parting tool down there just so I've got something I'm working to. Okay, that's it. That's where I'm working to. It's always nice to know. And where is it? There is. Yep, that's about as thin as I want it. Don't want to go any more. So that's good. I'll sand that one off, cut the bottom down. Be easier to get in there. Good. Can you see that shape? Yes, you can. Yeah, we can see the shape. Good. It's pretty much what I was after, so it's, that's quite encouraging, really. think that wants to be quite a bit narrower at the base down here this one is quite a lot it's narrower than the, than the top which is actually what I want I think that's going to be what looks nice to the eye Rather yeah, than and that's too, this, this one's this one's too heavy. So I'm just trying to get a guide, really. 
Um, so I think we can take that in quite a bit more. I think we'll go for something like 70 mil, which is that. So I shall whap a parks and pot and chisel in, in there. Something like that. Yes, the piece out of my uh, wood store. Sorry? It's all right, Linnikins has just said uh, gorgeous piece of wood and said, yeah, it's a piece out yeah. of my wood store. <laughs> Way. Graham Hain is in. Hello, Graham. Name I can't recognise, but <coughs> I don't pick up everyone. It looks like he knows Rob. Sorry, is Graham Hain. Uh, Hain. He knows Rob, obviously. Yeah, he's no, it's not. Him. Not a name I, I recognise. No. But you're welcome anyway. Not that I'm any good at remembering names, but... That can go a little bit smaller, I think. So can the waist, I think. Sorry? So can the waist. Yeah, yeah. But that's sort of where I have in mind. Yeah. So if it tapers from there upwards, I should be well pleased with it. That's that rough bit, <laughs> and that bit. God, look at that! That pipping in there, unbelievable, mm. amazing. Looks better in real life. But that's something like the shape. I'm going to just true it up a little bit, uh, bit of scraping on this top bit. There. Doesn't go over there. No, goes down there. You're not going to reduce the waste anymore on there. Or are you happy with it? I'm going to. I'm going to put. The, sorry, what down the bottom? The here? No, the waste. The narrow oh, bit. Uh, I was quite happy with that. I think. Okay. Comparing it to that, it's significantly different. Yeah. You can't. Yeah, you can see that yeah. shape. So, I mean, you don't don't even need to think about that shape. No, no, no. But that um, was what we were starting from. Um, yeah. It could go down a bit more. 
I don't think do it think, will harm if it does. If you think it deserves it, I'll do it. Well, I, I think it's probably another, only another quarter of an inch or so, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. It just takes some of the weight out of it. Yes, true, yeah. Sort of there. Yeah, that looks that looks finer. It was different. It was easier for somebody else to look at it and tell you, isn't it? Well, considering I'm directly above it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, got kind of good, good visual on it. I'm just standing here waving my weapons around. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're right. I like that. That's better. Yeah. And John McDonald's agreed with me. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, no, I think that's fine. Um, Rex B, this is going indoors. Um, Mrs. Heath has uh, got her name on it, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I can't sell it because I haven't got a metal or glass bowl for Sorry. it. Um, but I don't want to sell it anyway. I mean, when when I've got the seal, the sanding sealer on there, you'll see why. Ah. <sighs> oh. Just breathed in and got a lump, lump of you halfway down my throat. <laughs> oh, that means more vodka, does it? Or is it the Bacardi ah, tonight? It's, it's Bacardi, definitely. That's my tipple. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, that's lovely. That's 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 come up good. That. Right. I'll get this sanded. I'm going to put um, uh, the uh, parting tool through the yeah, bottom. Yeah, I would make way. it as long as you can yeah, or as yeah. tall as you can I'm going for there somewhere about there and I should just put the scraper on that which I'll put away just to get that uh, angle right at the bottom there That's all it needed, just that. Right. And send it. Just as a, um, a thought, Andy, just yep. take the very bottom corner off because I was, it is I was gonna quite do, brittle. Yeah, I was going to do it with glass you. paper. Okay. Yep. I, it, I, it tends to tear with the tools, doesn't it, when it's yeah. that thin? Yeah. So I thought I'd do that with glass paper. But yes, I have got that in mind. So yeah, absolutely yeah. right. The eighty grit chisel. That's it. That's the one. I'm very fond of my eighty grit gouge. No, it's just oh. planted in there, Graham. It wasn't um, initially made as a candle holder. It just sits in the bottom. I've lost me eighty grit. Good job I don't need it. Whoa. Is that gone then? It was in there earlier because I used it. Oh, there it is. We got it. Right, turn the extractor on. Mop myself down a bit. Oh, that's better. And here we go. A little bit of 80, but not too much. And the most important thing with you when you're sanding is not to make it hot. That's a definite. It will crack at the drop of a hat. And I can Push feel the warmth. In. It's just been oh, out hello, the back Pete. of a... Just back from a nice ride on the bike while the sun shines. Lucky you. Oh, right. Yeah, lucky him, yes. Yeah. yeah. What's sun? What's, um... Yeah, it's been pretty miserable down here. Well, it's rained nearly all day here.
So for Just you take... late guys that are popped in, um, there's no panic for Andy to get done in the next 10 minutes because Rich isn't, hasn't got an invade tonight. I don't know what the problem was, but he's, uh, he did put it on Facebook earlier on, which is where I saw it. So if Andy runs tight to nine o'clock or past, it's not a problem. take that top edge off because that was tearing a bit that's beautiful that's better right 120 So with this, I have found, Andy, that it's better to do forward, reverse, forward, reverse through the okay. papers, through the yes. grits, um, Radio. as it's so damned hard. Yeah, but it's exciting it though, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't tear out the, the pippy bits either then so much. Feels as though it's sanding all right. We'll have a look at it in a minute. I must say, I'm quite impressed with this Abronet. It's not clogging up at all. No, I only like it really for um, polyesters, resins, and acrylics and yeah, things like that. You know, looking at that, that's that's yeah. still almost as good as it was the day I got it, apart from a tear in it. And I've used that quite a lot. Malcolm Douglas has joined us. He Hello, Malcolm. apologising from being late, but... Uh, we'll forgive you this time. Yeah. Don't do it again. Rex, I've already given um, Wayne... A massive U burr, which he's did on a live. And if you go and check out his YouTube channel, you will find it. And I think it was about 20 inches diameter. Oh, just a small one then. Yeah. So Scott's off, guys. Um, Really tired. I'm not surprised. Yeah, no, I'm not so, surprised. Look I'll after yourself, can, Scott. Yeah, I'll see if I can touch base with you tomorrow, mate, and have a bit of a chat. But look after yourself in regards to Joe and uh, George, because I think they've probably gone through it as much as what you have. Yes, usually do, don't they? The mm. partners and kids. It's looking good.
even more so, Colin, in your own bed. I know he hasn't uh, enjoyed being in hospital. I don't think anyone does, but uh, it's not designed to be enjoyed, is it? No, no. But uh, at least they've kicked him out. Yes. It's always quite it a relief, isn't it? Well, it means one thing that uh, they are obviously getting better. Well, they've got it under control now. Well, that's sanded to 1200, which I think with you will do that very nicely. Quite a nice shine on it now. Yeah, but yeah. Have you found it makes any difference going backwards and forwards through the reverse? Uh, well, I've been doing it. Yeah. And, uh, I find and it's, it given gives, it, it's given it a very nice finish. So Yeah, I yeah, find it gives yeah. it a better finish. Mm. It's such a lovely timber to work with, isn't it? Mm. Yes, Douglas, there are um, fake abronets around. I have tried a couple of them with no real sort of intention of using them again. So the original Abronet is good. Oh, Abronet, yeah. Mm. Uh, it's very expensive. It is, but it lasts an awful long time. Yes. As I say, I've done, oh, I don't know how many projects with this this lot, and it's not it's not worn, really. It will do, eventually. But it's uh, certainly it's still in very good nick at the moment. It's done this all right. And this is quite hard. So... Have you got a scratch around the very top, Andy? Yes, just there. Yep. Yeah. I was just noticing yeah. that. I'm going to have a go at that in a minute. Yep. It just come up past the cab. Uh, up That's the right. Camera. I don't know quite why, but anyway, I will. Uh, I will have a crack at that. Go back through the grades a bit. It's obviously easier now, guys, than what it is once you've taken it off to do it. Yep. I should start with 120 and see how we go. I saw a slight mark round here earlier when I was sanding. I thought, is that in the grain or is it a mark? It is a mark. There's another one down there which which is not a flaw. That's all right. That's just in the grain. Mm. That's that's almost got that now. Yeah, a tiny bit more there, but it's, it's nearly there. That's the trouble with these LED lights, they show it up, so... They do, they do, which is not a bad thing altogether. No, no. Abronet is a mesh-based abrasive. It's that. So it, it's a load of holes that? joined up with uh, yeah. you, with mesh you, you, and You can grit. see, you can, act, you can actually see through it. And the so beauty of it in... There. Yeah, and one aspect is that you can knock it and the dust falls That's out, right. whereas that, with... That bit there, normal, yeah. do that and it's gone. Yeah, with normal abrasive, you can't knock it out it's quite so no. easy. Which is what makes it last so much longer mm. than, than your average. And so I'm, I'm, it was Rich put me onto it when he, yeah. when he did my yeah. invade. And I ordered it the next day. And I must admit, I've been very impressed with it. Thank you, Rex, for the compliment. You can't read it, so I'll read it out to you. Yes, you two are a great pair and work well together. Who was that from? That's from Rex B. Rex, thank you very much, Rex. It's number of people appreciated. Have, yeah. Number of people have commented on the gruesome too. So. <laughs> <laughs> I take it as a compliment, you know, I mean, it's the only exactly. way to, to take yeah. these things, yeah. Got to have a smile. Well, you've got to have a bit of a laugh as well. Yeah. Yes, life can get too serious at times. Oh, yes. It's nice to have enough time on one of these to do this. To actually yes. get, the, get the sanding to a proper finish. And I think that's the only thing you can do on this while it's still on the lathe finish it. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you're rushing through and you can't pass it off because you know you've got to put it back on there the next day. So it's actually quite nice to have a little bit more time 
a bit more relaxed. That might be one of your first finished, totally finished projects then. It will be, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah. That's what I'm aiming for anyway. Yes, right, Douglas, that's... I've used it for cleaning copper as well. That's up to 1,200. But with the modern fluxes that you've got, you don't really need too much of it anyway. It's only to that's... get the contamination off from oxidisation. That's beautiful. Turn that noise off. I know you can't hear it, but I can. Lawrence Bagasia has just joined us. Hello, Lawrence. I'm afraid you're going to have to watch it back on the YouTube, mate. We're you missed the bulk there. of the turning. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But I think you're going to find it's going to be well worth watching it. It's a lovely Don't piece of timber. Don't worry about the cake, Lawrence. We're too fat for that. <laughs> you speak for yourself. No, you no, you don't need to. You can speak for me. <laughs> yeah, Gerard, um, Andy's using Abronet, which is the first five or six bits in there, the mesh. And then he's going on to a foam-backed um, Merca abrasive. Rhino. Rhino. Yeah. Rhino grip Merca or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, something like and that. And the orange is, name, is yeah, the orange is just um Oh, oh. it's the um Wayne uses it all the time, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, uh, it's Rhino Soft, this is um Rhino Soft, yes. And it. that's the whatever they call it. It's it's useful yeah. after after sanding sealant just to just to level it off if you're not gritty. It's, it's what it, you use in the kitchen, but you get it in green for the kitchen. It's like a pot pad, scary, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Scotch and you get a whole pad. There's about three or four different colours, and they all, they're all different grades, and I can't find them at the moment because I very rarely uh, use them. But the yellow is a useful one for, for, just, for just knocking back sanding sealant if it's raised yeah. the grain, which this hasn't anyway, so I shan't bother. The right. manufacturer I use, I use the um, grey which is equivalent to 1600 grit. Um, I use that. It's Webrax. That's well done, Hodge. Webrax, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah Webrax. I knew Hodge would um, know. He, he knows everything. Yeah. Yeah, he's been taught by Beaver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I use the 1600 grey for putting on um, wax polish. Yep. E yep. Even though I uh, use... Um, Yorkshire grit. I st yeah. I find I can get a better better coat with it, get a better finish yeah. with it. And it's a little bit kinder than than steel wool, which I've never liked anyway. No, because you always no. get bits of it into the timber, which then go rusty. Right, give you all sorts of problems. But yes, so, but I yes, agree. Go on. It's a much kinder way of doing things. Mm. Yeah. I agree with you on that one, Douglas. Um, I didn't need to do much Legionella work. I steered clear of that. And uh, you had to be I've licensed had, anyway. I've had my fill of that mm. from the other side as yeah. a maintenance man, getting people in to do things and yeah. Yeah, but doing all the testing. Licensed. It's doing all the testing is the tedious bit. Mm. Dave Deadman said he's got some in Lidl today, Andy. Yeah. Um, what were you getting in little the Webrax or the um, abrasive? The foam back abrasive, Gerard, is Rhino Soft from Indasa. It's lovely stuff. It goes up to uh, 1200 grit. And it, it really does. A long way. Mm, yeah. Really does burnish it nicely, and it's with the foam. It's it's gentle on the timber as well. I keep on about being gentle on timber, don't I? As it's got the foam in it, uh, it will. You can mould it to the shape of the wood and the shape of the turning. Well, <sighs> that's right, and it uh, just protects your fingers a bit. Yeah, it's just it's just nice to use. Right, acrylic oh, lacquer, I think, on this. I did have the Indasa catalogue. But, uh, I can't find it. No, it, it's definitely Rhino Soft anyway. 
Yeah, that's what it says on the back, and that was All stuff right. from the from the club, Keith. That, that was from, yeah. No, I, I supplied yeah. it. <laughs> no, I don't so think I, I had any of that. I don't think no. I had any of that off you. I did when I, when at the club meeting I did, or from from the guy who was selling yeah, it. Well, it, was, I, it was, I supplied club. Oh, you supplied it to there, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I used to support some. the club. But yeah, that was from from what two years ago. I've still got some. Yeah, I over over purchased, which I was yeah, very pleased I had. <laughs> it was cheap then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've had some more from you since, but I've now got the Abronet to try out. Which I'm it's R H I N O Gerard Crino. <coughs> oh, excuse if me. If you look up um, Indasa I N D A. S A abrasives, you will find it on there. A number of different places sell it. Danny <laughs> had some in Darcy off of me. Yeah, a lot of people mm -hmm. have bought it off of me yeah. as I now sell it by the meter from 80 up to 400 grit. That's it. Yep, 81, so, 21, 82, 43, 20, and 400. Yeah, I don't do the Rhino Soft because there was not a great deal of call for it. No, I used to get that from club meetings mm. when we used to have them, and, and I will have some more when we start again. You can buy it. I mean, it's around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can buy it. If you to outside of a <coughs> oh, oh, you send damn. it down Too early. enough to a pie stain. Um, it's a question to you, but it's to both of us, I think. Andy, mm -hmm. um, Eric Winkler saying, if you have shellacked outside of a bowl, can you sand mm -hmm. it down enough to apply a stain? Yes, I would think uh, you can. But, um, but the stain, unless you take it all off, the stain won't yeah, soak in. Stain won't soak in as well. And as it's shellac, that would have been a meth-based or yeah. um, denatured alcohol base. <coughs> You're better off to stain before you apply a sanding sealer. Yes, absolutely. Could you spell that again, please, slowly? Do you want it in Braille or, or English, Gerard? <laughs> Um, Indasa is I N D A S A abrasives. Type it in the chat. Why, well, Andrew's already put it in there. Oh, is he? Right. Yeah, it means going to a different page and losing the chat because that's jumping yep, like yep, it's yep, gone yep. out of fashion. Oh, really? Yeah. We're so interesting. See, that's the problem. <laughs> Believe that you believe anything. So I got, I, I put the paper towel on it before it was dry properly. So I'm now trying to remove the bits of paper towel. <coughs> oh dear, that looks awful. Yeah, Rhino Light is another part of the same suppliers as well. Ben Jamins decided it's about time he joined us. Hi, Ben. Good evening, gonna, or good night, or good morning, sir. Definitely need to go back and uh, check this out. It's an absolutely gorgeous piece of timber we're working with, which is always nice. Right, I'll try again, see if I can do a bit better with it this time. Nice and slow. I'll leave it to dry this time before I start mucking the bash off, yeah. Before I start mucking about with it, I get impatient. <coughs> but that is re lovely, that. I don't, um, Paul, I don't think there is a totally clear shellac clear liquid in a tin. I want to make some OB shine juice. You put that in a chat the other night. And I went through and Googled it, and all of the shellacs come up as sanding sealer. Yeah. 
Uh, which it is. I mean, it is a Sunday, yeah. scene, and you you have to do something something else on top of shellac to finish it anyway. Usually, and the shellac is made by the by crashing a bug. Yeah, but you buy it as flakes, and there's no point buying it already mixed because the the mess evaporates and it thickens. Mm. If you if you mix it up yourself as you need it, you can get it exactly the way you want it. Is it meths and 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 what's the other thing that goes in there? Oh, God, well, my brain's gone. Yeah, obviously the shell and something Lins else. Linseed oil, oil, isn't it? Lins yeah. Is it linseed or you, boiled oil? Boiled linseed, I think. It's if one you go of the on, two. If you go on YouTube, yeah. you'll find various people telling you how to do it, and it's it's very simple to do. And, and it will give you a very high quality product. I'm, I'm, I'm lazy. I just use stuff that comes from cans, which works very well. But they've done the research, so I don't really see why I should do it as well. Shall as I? Terry at Chestnut yeah. would always tell us. Yeah. So, um, shellac flakes are readily available on eBay and I and believe Amazon. Amazon do them now yeah. as well. Yeah. So, um, there's many places to get them. That's lovely. So if I pot that off now, and then I shall buff it, because it will harden by then, um, with the buffing system, and we will have a completely finished, apart from the base, which I can do actually, because that's very simple, we will have something finished. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Wait, it's always a first. <laughs> Got to do it now and again just to prove I can. Mm. And no pressure as well tonight. Oh, oh come on. I, I lubricated that this evening. You wouldn't guess it, would you? The way it's sticking. Right, I like that one better. I do like this little passing tool. as a one-handed one. finger right so now then we'll drip drop over to the sander and finish the underneath there we are <laughs> it works remarkable link that I've just put in because apparently they do their advertising a clear so I can't hear you with all the shell action and everything else going on yeah don't worry about it traditionally don't know whether that's what you're looking for I haven't got time to read it be quiet that's better takes ages to go off right that actually gives a really nice finish and that is sitting nice and flat so i'm going to Can't see a thing it. what camera are you on um i don't know i want the, the, that one on uh, let's try not that one. Ooh, hello what's happened there oh i see i've swung it, swung it all over the place right so there we are the uh, yeah the bottom of it 
off straight off the sander is actually quite a respectable finish. I've got a fairly fine one on there at the moment. I changed it the other day. So I'm just going to lacquer that sanding sealer. Lacquer it. That will do for that. When he stands that on its foot, that's a piece of 600-ish year old U. And absolutely gorgeous it is too. I'll just leave that to dry while I set up with the buffing mop. Because I will finish this completely. I'm absolutely determined. It's only five to nine, so we're doing all right. There's no time limit tonight. Nope. Okay. Which is always nice, isn't it? Mm. Makes a change. Oh, what have I done with them? I've moved the, moved everything around. Mm. Oh, I know. They're underneath me drawers. Right. We... Still drawing. I think we're a... On, some, on the, on the um, chuck at all. Sorry? You want to put us on chuck cam? Oh, yes, I can indeed. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, I'm not going to use the wheel A, which is the brown one. It doesn't need it. It's got a lovely finish on it anyway. So all I do want to do is sort of buff it up and burnish it a bit. So I should use the B and C, the white one and the, the Carnuba. And this needs to run at about 1,500 or thereabouts. Revs. Bloody cheek, Hodge. Yeah. So, I don't know. You can you can be made in the court, put in the corner if you're not careful. He says he's got to say that, that you age better than the both of us. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably right, actually. But but yeah, yeah. bloody cheek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Alison's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> right. So here we go then. This is where you do have to be a bit careful of overheating. And also keep hold of it. Yes. Yes, I usually These... actually put I usually put my table on there. Yeah. Set set the table for dinner. Just in case it comes off it's not hitting metal then. These buffing wheels do have a uh, tendency to grab. Particularly if you try and do that. Yeah. Go go slow to the top it's a, we'll grab it give an half a chance if you remind us in a minute graham we'll have a quick measure but it's uh it's not much smaller than what it started off to as a square blank i've put too much wax on there damn damn damn, damn. It is the first. I've never done that before. Too much wax. It's all congealing on the wood. Martin at Woody's Creations just said hi. So I'm guessing he's uh, late on parade. <laughs> so another one to watch it when it comes up on uh, YouTube in a few hours' time or tomorrow. Whenever they decide to upload it, the pictures stay there all the time. It's only the, the, the um, chat that they take off, isn't it? Yeah, it, uh, it doesn't usually, always come up straight away, does it? Well, I, I usually go straight in after I finish and have a look at it. Yeah, but you can get so in, but not everyone can, I don't think. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm a bit special, I must admit. Too. And Martin's asking you what cake you want, as he's got cakes. A Madeira smoke would be lovely. <laughs> I 
It's nice of you to think of us, Martin. Us yeah. Sweating away in here. Watching this wood grow. I think I should go on to the other mop. See if it takes off that wax. I just put too much on there, I think. Quite easy on those soft sticks. Yes, I've, I've, been, I've used them for ages, but I've never had a problem before. But... Uh, I like the carnauba. I, I very often just use the carnauba wax. In fact, just use this one, the third one. Go over it with, with nothing on this, no wax on it to start yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? So I may have a little finishing off to do <laughs> this tomorrow because I should get some white spirit on it, uh, some mess on it, take the wax off and redo it. Because that's just not, it's just polishing the wax over the top. Right. The brown one wouldn't it. take it off. I suppose it might. Like it's, it's almost getting worse rather than better. But <laughs> the pain that is. So I've never had that problem before. Let's try the brown one, see if it does, without any wax on it. Now, Doug Miller's in now. Not sure how long you've been in, Doug. Hello, Doug. Welcome. Oh, that's doing it. Well done, Cock Keith. Good. Save the day again. You definitely don't want to try a heat gun on this, Martin. Um, <laughs> if you would melt the wax but it would probably crack it as well yeah. the mess, mess would take it off yeah you is very heat sensitive that's why I keep it moving when I'm doing this you can't afford to hang around in one place one little bit there that doesn't want to polish up oh yes it's going it's going Quite a confectionery order in for you, Martin, tonight. Being late in. Yeah, hope you can supply it all. <laughs> I'll get on to that one next. The white one again, but I'm not putting any more wax on it. I'm not pressing too hard. Jay, it's the three waxes that come with the chestnut buffing system. I can't and remember I the names of them. Um, the t uh, Emma, the tiny turner, tells you the names sometimes. But I know yeah. that the last, the last one is Carnuba, and the other one's the brown one and the white one. <laughs> white one, I think, is Tripoli. That rings a bell. And I think the brown one is Mazerna. Which that I don't well. use. Yes. Yeah, I, I think, use I right, um, a different one. I use Vonex on there. It's more for plastics, but uh -huh. I find that works quite well. But this Carnauba gives it a really nice tough finish. Yes. It doesn't seem, yeah. it doesn't seem to show Carnauba finger. on as the top one. It doesn't seem to show fingerprints or anything. It's no. really high gloss. Absolutely gorgeous finish. 
I've been into the habit of doing this with almost all of my stuff, no matter what I've done to it previously. Back or all. Yorkshire grit or whatever. And then the inside, which I'm not going to do on this one because it's actually got a nice finish. But I have a bag full of of um, mops, which I've lost. Oh, I know where they are. They're over, there. over here. And I would just stick this one into the electric drill. I'll show you in a minute when I get it out. Have you knocked your mic? Or is it me not here? Yes, I have. Well. Yes, it's down, down on my chin. Right. I, I keep losing my headset. Um, yes, yeah, so so I, that that one will go inside quite nicely on the electric drill. Spin it, a bit of carnauba, and that'll finish the inside off beautifully. You can see the shine on there now. <coughs> Excuse me. Absolutely gorgeous, particularly on the on the bowl. Absolutely lovely. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's picking up the lighter treat. Mm. So there it is. Ben saying Tripoli is brown, it's white diamond. Then Oh white, white diamond's the white one. Okay. Yeah. Because they came with them and I've never needed to know. You know, this thing to last. And I got I got another white one with this bag of, of I've got a bag of, of different mops, all different sizes and shapes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and another white one came with that, so and a brown one, I think, if I remember rightly, but certainly a white one. But the Carnuba is the one I keep dropping it and smashing it, and I've ended up with just little bits like that now. <laughs> Very brittle. Uh, yes, it is. But hey ho, it works. It does a lovely job. So I'm going to sit me down, go over to my my presenter cam. And there we are. Scary cam. Yeah. Well pleased with that. I mean, look mm. at that timber. It's another piece. I've, I've been lucky recently with all this timber I've had from you, Keith, that uh, it's turned out some beautiful stuff from that oak, spalted oak platter. Yes, that was gorgeous, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I think this got um, pride of place for the side of it on the table by the looks I of it. I think so, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. But that is lovely, isn't it? Absolutely. Not sure it's whether fantastic. Alison's gone to bed yet or not, whether she's still in the chat. Ten past nine. No, it's about bed it's about bedtime, so. Almost bedtime. Yeah. But I know she had some other things to do as well. So mm. but uh, so anyway, thank you to everyone for coming along. Nick Castle, I'm not sure whether I've seen you in here before. No, Alison <laughs> yes, uh, it yes. is indeed, she says. So she's still oh, just yes. put the light on, so she's yeah. not gone to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Nick. You can see that behind me, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Nick Castle's been in before. Yeah, is he? It's a name. Oh, it's right. a name I never remember. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but pleased to see you. And uh, yeah, I didn't think nice. he's been in tonight, or he's not commenting <laughs> tonight. Possibly yeah. Martin Martin at Woods with his creations says, "Lovely piece, Andy. Not you, the you." Mm. Yeah. Quite right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, some very nice comments. So thank you very much, everybody. So and for uh, a piece of, like I say, 600-year-old-ish you that the poet Percy by Shelley was purported to have sat beneath or below and wrote some of his poems and scribblings. Um, so we do have a piece of history piece for of it. Real, real history on that, yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, so some nice comments in there. Oh, Nick says yes, he's been yeah. here half an hour, but he's uh, obviously <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. just woken up then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so yes, lovely piece of piece of wood. I've enjoyed turning it. Thank you good. very much for coming along to watch. Yeah, it's you been a good know. live. Never know, you might even learn something. I, I think I have. So, but then life's all about that, isn't it? It's all about mm. learning. Too many out so. there that know everything but know nothing. Yeah, if I put that up there, you can see it in the background. In the background, yeah, are. just about. Just, just above your shoulder. name. Yeah, yes. just, no, it's just above your name, so. <laughs> if I move it back there. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I need a drink. Night, Alison. Good night, Alison. <laughs> <laughs> Speak see to you, you later. next time. Yeah, wave, because you've just gone past the camera. 
<laughs> oh yes, you can see you in the, in the office above the dustbin. I could just see your shoulder. Yeah. If you move to your left. <laughs> yeah, there she is. Uh, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, she's alive. <laughs> yeah, she, she's real. I don't. Yeah. I don't invent. <laughs> she's still waving. <laughs> oh, great. Good. Okay. Brian so. Hartwood here is just, oh dear, I missed it. <laughs> well, yes, I truly yes, missed Brian. it, Brian. Just a bit, but you can find it, you can find it on YouTube. So uh, it's, it's turned out extremely well, Brian. I will show you it because I can. You Again, can gloat over it. So um, Nick's just asked. Look, look at that bit on. of timber, Brian. I mean, go on, you know, knock that if you can. Yeah. It's fabulous, isn't it? Nick's asked what size of blank or what, and what was the finish it size? Was, yeah, the size of the blank was four, was well, 100 mil, four inches, four, four inches square. square. And um, it was, um, I think it was 120, 130 long, something like that. About five and a half, five and a half inches, yeah, something like that. And it's ended up at 95 diameter, the widest point. And a height of 110 mil, so it's four and a half inches tall and just under four inches in, in diameter. Quite well in not, proportion, I think. Yeah, and not too much wasted. So yes, so yes, I think I think those proportions are right. Now I'm pleased with those. Yeah, the, you know, my my first attempt, which was admittedly a few years ago, looks so clumsy by comparison, doesn't it? Sorry, I've got I'm holding it with my fingers in the way. There is no comparison, to be honest. No. For, no the laboratory is too heavy. Yeah, it is. But uh, there we are. That's it. So anyway, that, that's that's the one I like. <laughs> Get the right one. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Yes, good. Okay, any more questions before we go? Super bit of wood. Good job. It is a super bit of wood, Brian. You're quite right. And thank you, Keith, for that. He's been playing with, Brian has. Doesn't yeah. say what he's been playing with. No, he's gone blind. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So now, just, just sorry, just looking down the comments. I should, I could, I should stop. I can look at those another time. Good. Yeah, okay. it's, it's nice. It's nice to read them on the night, though. Some of them. It is. It is. Yeah. Just comment. Oh, playing with new laser. Wow. Is that for? Is that for? Um, for the, uh, Engraver in his bottom. Oh, is it for engraving or is it the um, the, the hollowing hollowing tool? No, it's his. I don't think it's his a hollowing tool. He's engraving his bottom. Is it? That sounds very uncomfortable. From what he was saying, lunchtime. All oh, right. Yep. I missed I'm that because I was down adding, at the museum. Yeah, so. Just adding two and two together on that one. Right. So he's going to be into writing names on pens and things, is he? Yeah, he's put in there engraving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but well like Brian, Barry, like Barry Fitch does. Yeah, Douglas Munnam's off. Good night, Douglas. Thank you, Douglas. Hopefully, you've all hit the thumbs up button on the way out. I think everyone I so. that's in here is it subscribed to Andy. If not, it's up to you. But it's always nice. Oh. Oh, mute it. Yeah, we got thirty thumbs up, so and twenty six watching now. So that's 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 pretty good. You went up to about thirty two, thirty three. Was that? Yeah, yeah. They're they're all grossly creeping out. Jason's going. Dave Deadman's going. Yeah. Well so, done, yeah, guys. Good. Thank you okay. all for stopping so, by. Yes. Yeah. So rather than risk boring you, we'll say goodbye. Uh, and yep. um, you know what's happening in the future, do you? I'm trying to remember what's the date yeah, today. You're on Tuesday. I'm on Tuesday, Next. one o'clock. Wayne's on tomorrow lunchtime. Steve SK is on tomorrow night. Keith uh, is on Thursday. I'm doing week. next Thursday. And, um, and yeah. Emma's on. Somewhere on Saturday, I believe. Saturday evening, I believe. Well, she does. She does do Saturdays quite often, doesn't she? Yeah, she really. Get put to something them, on but... today. Um, uh huh. Apart from that, you'll just have to check 
YouTube yep. and what comes up. Yep. And yep. if you've if you've hit the the uh, subscribe button bell, you should get notified anyway. Maybe just as it's starting, but it'll still get yeah, you warning. Sometimes a bit late, but you'll see most of it. So yeah, good. Okay, so see you all uh, next oh, week. Ro Robbo's on tomorrow morning at eleven. That's oh, right. I see. Yeah, I right. see he was going to do a, a a quick one. He hasn't oh, done one for and, some time. I might try and see that because I don't think I've actually seen him turn. It's quite entertaining. So, is he? Yes, I can imagine yeah. that. Yeah. And his hundred foot lathe that he's got. Yes, something, yeah. something quite like, extraordinary long. Like, like to see that. Yeah. Mm. Good. Thanks, okay, Brian, for that. Uh, Saturday morning at 11. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Saturday morning. Right. Yep. Yes, yeah, I'm be pretty right. sure Emma's on Saturday evening, which comes mm -hmm. on about... She's usually 7.30, isn't she? Yeah, it starts at 7 for a 7.30 demo, doesn't it? That's she right, yeah. comes on, yep. exercise her tongue for half an hour before she starts, I believe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I'm sure she needs practice with that knot. <laughs> I didn't say a thing. I'm not <laughs> saying any more at all. No, no. Eliminate me. In fact, probably will or has done already. But uh, good. Okay, lovely. Thank you very much. I'm going to press the button and say good night. Good night, guys, and thank you all. Yeah. Good See night. See you next week, someone. Indeed. Oh, sorry. I should have put you back up ages ago, Keith. No, sorry about right. that. I'm on, I'm on my own there now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Here we are. I got you in there. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheers. Bye, everybody. Cheers, Eve.